How guys, what's your boy Tommy here? Okay, gonna do a like a let's build sort of thing. I'm gonna build a koi fish pond. So start off by finding a spot. So we're gonna go three blocks in, three blocks in. So we've got room to walk around it. And then we'll just uh, we'll dig this out. Now this is inside the palace so um, this floor here is only one block thick but it drops into the basement so the actual pond itself is going to be built into the basement so we'll just get this all dug out so what I'm going for is like a pond with um, a bridge and a, a central area where you can stand and feed the fish um, I'll just sit and contemplate. So I've got to make sure I've got enough room to see the fish and enough room to, you know, so it looks like it's not too cramped when you're walking over. Plus it's got to take a bridge as well. So that's the sort of size I'm looking at. Now I need to build the walls, so this is the basement area, so I'm going to be building the walls around here, but uh, leaving enough room for the walk around, because uh, I can't block this room off, because it's central to the, uh, the maze sort of construction under here. So there we'll go to build this wall in. Now I'm using the, uh, the decorative tile block. there you go that's what we've got now then we need to get the workings because obviously we've got to have fish swimming about so we need to get that represented represented god yeah i will learn to speak one day all right so the first thing you need is a beam emitter um because that powers your factory so you should have a block in your menu um that you've created Whole beam emitter. There you go. So I'll lay that down under this plinth. And there you go. Now a beam emitter has got a power of factory. Now I've called it factory random because I don't want the fish flinging out left, right, and centre. I just want them to come out at random intervals. So that block there is called factory random. And then I place the block I want the factory to throw out on top, which is basically shaped like a fish, and it's called face forwards. So when it follows the, as you can see, I'm laying down, I've made it a reed-shaped conveyor. So when the fish hits it, because it's called face forward, it basically follows it. Um, and it looks like it's swimming forward rather than coming out the factory at all different angles. So, laying me conveyor in basically just going round and round. So eventually what you'll get is, if you keep watching it, is fish swimming past fish um, every once in a while. So it, it adds a little bit of random aspect to it. So we'll fill this up full of conveyor. Plus with it being shaped like a reed, um, it just looks like plants on the bottom of the pond. So as I've got everything running when I'm laying the conveyors, I can also make sure that the conveyors are laid correctly. Um, I can watch for to see where fish fly off the edge and things like that to make sure that my conveyor is facing the right way. There's nothing worse than laying about 500 foot of conveyor to find one of your blocks is, <laughs> is pointing the wrong direction and you've got to go and find it. So I'll ha always have me factories and that running as I lay the conveyors and then that makes sure that I don't make any mistakes. So we'll have this end because I don't want it on a, a, on a loop because the fish will start to merge with each other. So we'll have the conveyor end under where the bridge is 
so you can't see the fish actually stop because this is just a special effect if, if you know so you want to try and hide as much of the workings as possible so that's conveyors done <clears throat> now we just got to finish the detail in it so remember it was a beam emitter powering a factory random with a face forwards doodad shaped like a fish placed on top of the factory and the conveyor is just called conveyor um, but obviously when you make your block you can you can disguise it as different stuff you know so that's the plinth now what we're going to do is basically um, one a bit more so one of my tree blocks so this is just a block of random green stuff and wood um, built up and given the uh, command wind so it moves so when you build trees and you use this block you get that tool looks like a leafy thing blown in the wind um, it's just an effect but also use it for reeds and uh, plants underwater so it's waving under the water and that looks crap so let's get rid of that it's basically just filling in the rest of the bottom of the pond with this so that's your plantage on the bottom now the cherry blossom tree people have asked for uh, a tutorial on a cherry blossom tree basically just the same random blocks placed in the in the workshop um, I've used the my first blocks you know the look, looks like a, a little white cake with hearts on or a white block with a little hearts on just place them randomly around the workshop in groups um, and then put some wood in between and uh, give it the command wind and then just build a tree um, now they say do tutorial on a tree build a tree the way you want it whatever shape you like um, some people have preferences of what shapes they use I just uh, most trees I build are pretty random I just bang a load of blocks together till it looks decent and um, there's no set pattern so doing a tutorial is uh, a little bit difficult actually so put the water in so the water is level with the, the, the surface of the, the block there and I've changed the detail to 3 which is what, how I like the detail for the reflections now as you can see most of the time you can just see the reflection of the ceiling but when you look carefully you will see movement under there and that's what I wanted just something so when someone went, went past the pond it caught the eye and it's like ooh what's that and then obviously if you stand and watch and um, as the lighting changes in the room so does the reflection die down and then the, the fish will show through better. Now I've also got a, a the same fish model but I've called it Jiggle. Um, and this is just for you know standalone fish. So we'll stick a couple of Jiggles. Okay. So that gives it the movement but they're not moving around um, swimming around but they're just like sort of feeding fish things like that you know so we've got our fish swimming we've got our fish jiggling around we'll stick another couple so we'll stick them over the top of so there's fish we can have the fish swimming under them so we'll stick it one two delete the bottom one so the fish will swim under that when it comes out it's not interfering with the conveyor same on that one there you go fish will swim under that one so it adds depth adds different levels things like that okay so that's basically the bottom of the pool sorted now what we need is our little bridge so I just use my usual roof block And then 
we need to get the arch so that one goes upside down like that so you'd start on the arch over and obviously with us building the bridge at a later stage I kind of get the angle to get this this one in so bear with me while I get this angle right it will get in there just get that that's it there we go so we've got an arch get this one in as well there you go so that's our little arches for our bridge now we need the steps to go up so that's a step block I did a tutorial on it stick them in there and then we'll use a bit of wood there's a platform to walk across that's our bridge and we'll stick some wood here just so the plinth doesn't look so bare there you go now we need um, like a barrier of sorts so people aren't falling into the pond and splashing around like idiots so stick my little and we'll put that right away around as well There we go. Now we need a little bit of detail in the corner. Now I could have did a corner block for the barrier, but why when you can use one of your other blocks? So I just use the, on the corners of the barriers, I just use plant pots or pillars. Um, so we'll use a planter. Get them in. Notice I've got like the, the, the the field and a bit of grass block on there so it looks like a little bit of soil in the bottom of it because then we'll stick a few flowers on top as well so there you go and that's the detail in now we have it that's your koi pond okay thanks for watching Keep smiling and I'll bring you another update at another time. But uh, take care now, guys. Bye now.